Hi there. Well, this is the um, teleportation uh, script I've been working on. Um, the script is rather simple, um, and I'll explain that in a in a short while. <coughs> well, let's load that up. Okay. So, um, right. Okay. So it's quite simple. I coded this in fifteen minutes, um <coughs> including thinking of how to solve the problem. So it is quite simple. Um, but let's have a look at how it works. Okay, so I've got three cubes here, and these are the teleport locations. So you can see it also in the gaming uh, panel. Now, um, if I press spacebar, which is mapped to the teleport two uh, in the script, it jumps. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's that's rather simple. So it's actually quite easy to do this. All you have to do is just to um, get the location, the transform the position of this uh, um, location and when you press jump you just basically change the transform position of the camera or the first person controller to to these um, three areas um, in sequence. So if you look at the script um, so I've got this timer, which I'll explain later. Okay, um, this is a, a sort of a mechanism to prevent the teleportation from jumping too quickly as you are pressing the key. So this is the mechanism. If I remove this, let's say, let me just remove this for now. And um, okay, as you can see, you know, whenever I press, it's actually jumping pretty quickly so to prevent that we have to use this particular script uh, uh, a simple mechanism to prevent the you know to wait a little time before you actually can press the key again so that's quite simple yeah um, in the teleport script I've got the um, uh, an array of game object um, with the variable teleport location and this actually stores you know all the cubes that with the tag name called teleport okay so um, this array it's populated through this script here um, so game object the find object with tag tag name in this case is teleport so my three cube locations um, has to have a uh, tag, teleport tag. And to add the tag, you just go to teleport uh, to the tag uh, drop down list, add tag, um, open this tag, add more elements, and then in the first element, add the keyword teleport. Okay, um, go back and select teleport for all the three cubes. Okay, um, you could put more cubes here. Um, or around a landscape or in your game um, on the other hand you could change this cube to any uh, you know cool mesh you have you know like a teleport portal um, so that's done so that's in a three location I could easily add a fourth one and we can see how that works you know that's you've got teleport on it now the first person controller it's from the standard assets so first person controller you just drag it in but I've already got one here so um, this is used and you you need not configure any of the parameters within this person first person shooter all you've got to do is just to um, create the teleport script uh, C sharp script within anywhere well I'll put it in my scripts folder as usual uh, so um, just drag the teleport script to the first person controller and it will work immediately but of course the tag name you have to set the tag name um, teleport um, if, you, if you have set the tag name you don't actually need to do this okay so the tag name will be known will be pulled from here um, the location index actually should be private okay so we we need not change it um, but the location index will 
go through every teleport <coughs> location within this array <coughs> in sequence <coughs> and this is how it's done okay so from the start I pull in all the um, object with that tag name teleport and store it in this location um, this is not needed it's just a printout here of all the locations I've got you know so having added another one you see that now there are four okay um, in relation to all these four uh, locations so um, during the update you want to check for key press if you forget this for a moment check for key press in this case you can put key code dot space um, now uh, this could be anything it could be the right and left button in your Xbox controller I've got an Xbox um, controller setup video recently made so look up my video uh, uh, galleries now every time you press this it increase increments the log index you know, from zero the next one is one two and so on and so forth now um, this here make sure that you are not over the length of the index otherwise you get an index array error so whenever it reaches the the you know the the last cube you go back to the first one zero and simply um, the tr transform position of the of the first person controller it's set to the teleport location of the teleport indexes transform the position and that pulls it back okay um, that sets the location of the first person controller to to the cube uh, location and then you set the key press to true so that you press it once now once you've pressed the button it will start the um, interval complete uh, script which I've created um, for all my projects um, this is really it's a really useful script for uh, doing a sort of a timer check so the wait time I've set as um, sort of a one which is I think it's one second so you couldn't press any key before that one second is over so I'll explain this a, a little bit later and once the interval is completed then you set the key press as false so you could come back you know to to check for a uh, key press now um, when the interval is not completed that means when key press is false yeah, so only this is true then you get uh, so when the key press is false then this script is not run it goes straight to this script block now if it is true when this is not false yet then it returns so you never get to see this code in your update so it's just a simple mechanism to make sure that you know this is not um, pressed immediately uh, updated too often um, the interval complete code um, it's really simple it just uses it uses the elapsed time uh, compared to the last interval and when the elapsed time is over the wait time then you return a true value set the timer started as well or this is for um, the timer started is, is for another um, other function so we can forget this for now return true otherwise returns false so if the time is not over yet you just return false and it's not running this so very useful interval complete I've created for all my virtual worlds and uh, games so um, over here if you want really want to you could also set the transform dot rotation to the transform the rotation see they've got each all they all have different rotations you know at the the uh, y axis pointing you know z axis pointing that way you could change your first person controller to have the rotation also pointing in a certain direction but you can do that later it's it's um very simple too so let's run that again and see what happens so you know moving freely and 
suddenly I want to press spacebar to teleport to location. See, it's going in sequence. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope this helps your game development.